Janine Garofalo. Hello. Who? Hello. I'm going to make you go. Yes. Hey, it's Samuel, it? it's Kathy. Kathy. It's Kathy. Kathy Harris. Oh, my God. Catherine Harris. Yes. I'm yes, it was 20 years ago today. Sam Cedar taught the band to play. They've been going in and out of style. But they're guaranteed to make you smile. So may I introduce to you the act you know for all these years. Samuel Cedar's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Samuel, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. The, well, anniver the anniversary of Mark Marin's ascent into the podcasting world that we're celebrating today. No, this is not the anniversary. First off, this is not the anniversary of Mark Marin's uh, ascent. He, that happened years later. Oh. Well, first off, oh. we should say um, uh, Catherine Harris. Um, yes. Uh, Um, th this, uh, this day, actually it was, uh, March 30th of 2004, yeah. what was the, um, the first majority report was on, but, uh, Mark Marin show did not start until April 1st, 2004. Well, well, uh... All I can think of is just congratulations, Marcus Merritt. And also, Samuel, it's just two years before uh, Bush appointed our our father God on SCOTUS, Alito, Alito, who's been doing great work for all these years. So I... let's, let's praise him, white power, praise him. I should, uh, I should tell people... Uh, the, because it's been 20 years, um, actually even more, yeah. si since Catherine Harris yes, was... go on, go on. Since Catherine Harris was a household name, Catherine Harris, of course, was the Secretary of State of Florida uh, in the uh, two, 2000 election. Uh, and she was also yeah. co-chair of the George W. Bush uh, election committee at Jeb praise Bush was him. praise him, praise yep. him, and, and and a lot of people took issue with the fact that you uh, were instrumental in uh, throwing the election to George W. Bush. Um, if in I that take issue, you mean we're very, very pleased. Um, what? If I take issue, you mean very pleased. Well, no, you said take issue. Oh, I said... Um, no, you said take issue. You said, you said take issue. But listen, I don't want to get into a parsing of words on this happy, holy week. Let's make America pray again. Make America pray again. Well, we should say you went on. I mean, yes, Trump Jesus, Trump Jesus is being persecuted like Jesus was. Did you call we him Trump? Just Trump. remember... Did you call him Sorry, Trump? Go ahead, what? Donald Did Trump, the president. President Trump. Praise him. Let's make America pray again. And please don't forget to purchase his USA Bible, the only Bible endorsed by President Trump and the late Toby Keith and Chuck Norris. Do you, are, are, uh, are you... And please allow 18 weeks for delivery, and don't forget to read the fine print, meaning it, it may not come at all, like the sneakers. Are the sneakers not being sent to people? Well, did you read the fine print? It says, you know, they may, they might get there. Don't, don't, don't be impatient. They, they may or may not exist, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't buy them. Just like the Bible, it comes with the Bill of Rights and the Constitution and the lyrics to American Badass by Kid Rock. And, of course, Lee Greenwood is involved from the grave, I think. Is he dead? I'm not sure. I, I think he is. Anyway, uh, Samuel, go ahead. Sorry. Well, 
it's been a while since we've spoken, um, and I guess I uh, I I was gonna maybe get your 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 take your pulse on the question as to whether uh, Donald Trump is actually. Careful. The Be careful taking my pulse. <laughs> Be careful. Okay, uh, I would know. I was speaking metaphorically. Um, where are you on the uh, Donald Trump actually being president? You know that he lost the election. Where in am I? Where am I? Well, as I said, you know, I've been working very closely with he and Rabbi Shmuley and his girl child on, and been uh, having people really enjoy their kosher erotica. And Sam, don't forget to purchase the Rabbi Shmuley dildos. We have a special commemorative Joseph the Plumber dildo in the shape of a wrench. And with that, you also get a necklace in the shape of a wrench. Praise him, Joseph the Plumber. Yeah, hey, hey. Marcus Boston also is issuing a true blood commemorative dildo because of vampire. He loves vampire Bill. He wants to keep that alive. You remember how much Marcus loved true blood. I, I, I do. Um, you know, yeah. actually, uh, speaking of Marcus uh, uh, Bachman, I just saw... Uh, 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 Michelle Bachman uh, uh, making the case that the the the, the Constitution was uh, built upon uh, Christian values, uh, but uh, you mentioned uh, Marcus Bachman. I, I should say that um, it came out that the guy who was suing a match lap from the CPAC has dropped his suit because apparently they've worked it out that it was all just oh, a misunderstanding. Pick it up and get it dry cleaned. Did he drop his suit? Because the streets are full of bacteria. Are you taking your shoes off before you go inside your home? Because really, it's like a toilet seat. Yeah, but I was saying a, a lawsuit. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you meant a suit. Right. I don't know what you're talking about, a lawsuit. Samuel, we have always had this problem with miscommunication. And I'm on a landline, the only AT&T landline endorsed by President Trump. The, I, I'm, I'm confused by that. You're... You do seem confused. You do seem confused. <clears throat> um, w what have you been up to? What have I been up to? Well, I told you I've been working with Rabbi Shmuley and his girl child, and uh, and their line. Are you promoting Iraq. these dildos? Did you call them? We're, or? we're working with QVC to sell them and uh, make money, raise money for President Trump's uh, campaign and legal defense. And also, there's a Toby Keith dildo that's just a regular dildo. Just it looks like him. Praise him. God rest his soul. Well, uh, wipe out. Well, I'm I'm curious as to what your your sense is of how things are going in the country at the moment. Well, that, I'll tell you how things are going. That gosh darn bridge. It's because of all the open borders. That bridge in Baltimore. That welcome to Joe Biden's America, people. Get ready for more bridges to break because you can thank the liberal uh, conspiracy and the open borders for that. Well, I'm sorry. What do you mean by the liberal conspiracy? To, to deplete the infrastructure that President Trump is trying to shore up like the wall. I see. Did you know you can't even smoke on planes anymore, Sam? <laughs> Jesus, I was on a flight recently, and the flight attendant said I could not smoke and or vape on the flight. Again, welcome to Joe Biden's America. Well, wait, 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 wait. wait. When, is when was the last Thanks, time you were on a plane? There, you haven't been able to smoke. You can't smoke on a plane. Everything's changed. It's all going to hell in a handbasket. I, I, I'm gonna, I've got to look this up, but I don't think you've been allowed to smoke to smoke on a plane for for decades. You would say that, wouldn't you? Well, I mean, I'd say it if it was true. You don't even know. You're not even. Listen, 
why don't you tell me what you've been up to with all those Generation Alpha people you work with, all those young people you work with, Generation Alpha. It was the 1980s. I'm talking about right now, Sam. I'm asking what's going on with you right now. But the 80s were a wonderful decade. My skin looked fantastic. I have lately, since I've gotten older, have had to switch to Jones Road makeup for a woman of a certain age and a certain income. I'm sure you don't know what I'm talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, you have to be more minimal with your makeup, Sam. You know, I used to enjoy a, a, a good deal of makeup. I would have a bold lip and a lined eye. But after a certain uh, age, you have to let that go. You have to use a more um, user-friendly, as they say, makeup for, for a more mature woman. I see. Well, I mean, I guess it, it's been a while. I mean, what? Uh, I, I, maybe you're getting up there a little Haven't bit. Haven't you been getting the pictures I've been sending you? I've been sending you uh, uh, the, 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 the Hanukkah cards. Haven't you been getting my Hanukkah cards? As much as it pains me to do it, although I am pleased that Israel is almost cleansed, so Jesus will have an entrance strategy. Thank you, Bibi Netanyahu. Wait, you're saying Israel's cleansed now? Uh, it's getting there. It's getting there. Thanks to Bibi Netanyahu and all the good evangelical prayers that Jesus will soon be able to come back to the Dome of the Rock. And um, are you making plans? A lot of people are upset about what's going on in Gaza, not to mention what's going on in Madonna's face. Have you seen what I'm talking about? She is very. I've been um, looking at what's called a YouTube. Have you heard of this, Sam? YouTube. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. YouTube. Uh, there's a thing called you, 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 YouTube. Is that what? Is, YouTube been. has been around for t also 20 years. Really? Well, I just found out about it because I had to cut my own hair. Here's for why, Sam. My thyroid doesn't work anymore, so my hair gets a lot of what I call unsolicited dreadlocks. So I, I have been unable to get them out, so I was using a product called Cowboy Magic, which they use on animals with matted fur. That's true. And it was taking a long time, so I had to cut the knots out, and then my hair was all uh, of different lengths. And so I thought, or I had heard that you could learn how to cut your own hair on the YouTube. So I went to the YouTube to get a haircut tutorial. And um, it works, sort of. I didn't really do it right, but I think it would have. And then lots of things get presented by this gentleman called Algorithm. Do you, have you heard of Algorithm? Algorithm? The gentleman that works at Al you, algorithm. Algorithm is not a person. YouTube. No? No, algorithm is a well, mathematical calculation. It's like a... Uh, well, that, that's not what I heard. But anyway, Al keeps putting things in my Madonna's face. I mean, I want to say face, but it's not... It's not... I don't know if you've seen the latest iteration of, of her face, but here's the thing about plastic surgery, Sam. It's like a game of 21. Just stick at 17. Don't say hit me, because you're going to lose the house, and her face has clearly lost the house. And I don't like this kind of talk. I have a lot of compassion. A lot of compassion. She has dysmorphia, I think it's called, and something's gone wrong. I have the same compassion for her as I do for the singers of the Osambic song. Oh, 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 Osambic, you know. Do you think that was their dream as singer-songwriters, to sing a pharmaceutical jingle? I'm not sure that it was. So this is what I've been thinking about. Marcus, too, he's the one who's the most upset about Madonna's face. He loves Madonna and Cher. You know that about Marcus. He loves Cher and Madonna. 
I, I was not familiar with Marcus Bachman's love of Cher and Madonna, but I will take your word for really? it. And he loves Abba. Anyway, Sam, I'm going to stop talking. You seem to be absolutely at your wit's end right now. Are you overwhelmed with the anniversary of the majority report? Is that what's happening? Is something wrong? <laughs> No, there's nothing wrong. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, uh, uh, trying to catch up uh, with, with all these uh, stories that you're talking about. You've, you've cut your own hair uh, from a tutorial on I YouTube. I have to say because my thyroid doesn't work anymore. After a certain age, your thyroid can kick, and that's why I always say, don't get physicals. Don't get physicals. Leave it, citizen, because you don't. You really don't want to know. And then that's, I found out that my thyroid doesn't work, and then my hair was thinning. I wish I was as thin as my hair. I'll tell you that right now. But why? Why would your thyroid get make your hair get matted down? Well, no, it makes your hair fall out so you don't want to touch it too much oh i so see. i was trying to avoid brushing it and then i was getting unsolicited dreadlocks and i don't that's not right for me i don't like dreadlocks on anyone but especially white people white power and then i thought i need to get rid of them so i started cutting them out and then my hair was of all different not lengths sure if you like uh, having scissors it sounds like the best idea but it, it might You're understand not the first person who said that that's funny people keep saying that to me it might understand that you have a computer. Oh, no, I borrow Marcus's. He got an iPad, a pad, a pad, a pad. This is iPad. all, you're talking about technology that is really not new. None of what you've mentioned, like YouTube. It the same. Do you or... remember I was stuck in a ceiling for years? Do you remember that after the convention? Oh my gosh, in, that's true. Uh, uh, this do you is, remember what, that? Do you know what? how long I was in there? And the only thing I survived on was was insulation dust. When Chris Christie was on stage, it, it a bunch of stuff started falling off the ceiling. This is 2012 Whenever you're talking going. about. You've been, you were yeah. stuck in a ceiling at the... I was the, stuck in there for years. You the don't RNC remember? And I tried to call you. I mean, it's been some time. I I had forgotten about that. But yes, now that you mention it. Well, I'm you... out now. I'm out now. Yeah. How long have you been out? Oh, um, probably 700 days. You're, you're counting them? In... Around 700 days. Yeah, 700 days. I'm not real good with time. I heard there was a pandemic, and... The only thing I know about the pandemic, I think the worst thing that happened was that the ply of bounty paper towels was compromised. It's thinner now, like my hair. The paper towels aren't as strong as they used to be. That's what happened from the pandemic. Did, were, you, were you not aware of the pandemic? Oh, no, I heard about I was told about it. I saw people that were wearing masks, and I, for some reason, viscerally, I had a bad reaction to it. And then I kept hearing about vaccines, and viscerally, I had a bad reaction to it. This is not, you know, I, I refuse to be told what to do. I am in the business, like most conservatives, of telling others what to do. You don't make me wear a mask. You don't make me get a, 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 a vaccination. I tell you what you can and can't do. And then again, that brings us to Alito and Clarence Thomas, who luckily hates black people as much as, as his wife and he do. He hates them as much as the Republicans do, praise him. And so that's been good. And I think that SCOTUS will keep fighting the good fight to make sure that, that the experts don't tell us what to do and what we can and can't have. That's the job of conservatives. Am I right, Sam? Praise him, white power. 
Are you talking about the Chevron Doctrine? Oh, among other things. Of course I'm talking about the Chevron and Miss Aaron Hawley and his and her good husband Josh Hawley and oh my gosh. And there's that wonderful judge Casmeric in Amarillo, Texas, the Fifth Circuit. Praise them, praise them, praise them. They're gonna sh- and those wonderful doctors and a few dentists who will be there to testify. And keep you're talking about the, the federal Mif- regula- Mif- Excuse me. You're talking about the Mif- yeah. I'm, among other things, don't think it's gonna stop there. We're gonna be anti FDA. The court will still keep hearing these wonderful, not in any way remotely frivolous suits. And that will come thanks to Amarillo, Texas. Praise him, White Power. It's well, going to be a deregulatory juggernaut. I, I picked up that you seem to be singing more than the old days. I do. I have. I had to do it when I was stuck in the ceiling just to keep my sanity, Sam. Mm. You got to stay sane. As you can tell, my neuroplasticity is tipped. Because I've been doing large print crossword puzzles, biblical crossword puzzles, large print, easy to read. The only crossword puzzles endorsed by President Trump. Well, I I, I wasn't even aware of the crossword puzzles. Um, well, uh, Catherine Harris, this has been uh, a a real treat. <laughs> Catherine Harris, uh, thank you so much yeah. for your time today. Thank you. Thank you, Samuel. It was 20 years ago today. Samuel Cedar taught the band to play. They've been going in and out of style, but they're guaranteed to raise a smile. So let me into t- Should I keep singing? When no. You might, uh, is there, no. Is this happening in <laughs> real right. time? Is it now? Is it now? I've uh, lost we, it. Cut, cut. Uh, Bradley, stop it. 